Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. The Airborne and Special Operations Museum in Fayetteville is honoring Army veterans with North Carolina Connections. A legacy of Army service, Tar Heels 1940 to present, is on display through March of next year. And it's all tied in with a brand new veterans park next door. Producer Rick Sullivan has the story. This summer, one of Fayetteville's most popular attractions, the Airborne and Special Operations Museum, has been joined by a new park on an adjacent campus. The addition of the North Carolina Veterans Park now gives Fayetteville one of the most dramatic monument parks on the East Coast outside of the National Mall in Washington, D.C. We looked at uh, parks all over the country, including the Washington uh, Monument and the malls, uh, the, the, the monuments around the Washington Mall, and the FDR monument and all of them, the World War II monument. Uh, but this is different. This is a living, breathing park that uh, is not dedicated to one sector of history. It's, it's for our veterans from North Carolina. It's uh, from day one, if you will, from the first conflict that we had dating clear back to the Revolutionary War right up through the most recent conflict in, in Afghanistan. Just next door, inside the Airborne and Special Operations Museum, a new exhibit that also targets the stories of North Carolinians. So what I hope they'll come away with is a sense for who, who these uh, soldiers are, who the North Carolinians are, who um, in the past and in the future have uh, made sacrifices for their country and for their state and that they are people. We have biographies of uh, selected veterans on the wall so you can learn a little bit about them. At the heart of the ASOM exhibit is a simple rack holding dog tags. On the tags are the names of North Carolinians who died while serving in the Army since 1940. There are approximately 10,000 of them. The dog tag is a personal thing that a soldier wears and to touch that and see their name on it, it makes it more tangible. And I think it makes it uh, more real and hopefully people will gain a greater appreciation for the sacrifices made by our soldiers. You can meet some of the veterans who've survived these conflicts. The ASOM is routinely staffed by retired military personnel. Often they learn and share as much from each other as visitors do from them. Probably the best thing that I enjoy is uh, talking to these uh, Second World War vets. As you well know, we're losing those guys anywhere between 800 and 1,000, maybe more a month. The legacy of these men and women can only be partially known and recounted in the ASOM Museum exhibit and the North Carolina Veterans Park. But these beautiful structures create and preserve permanent meeting places for learning and contemplation, for civilians and for veterans. Both places might withdraw different visitors who might not come to the other just on its own, so there's an opportunity for them to see a couple of different aspects of, of military life here. So I think that's really good. First, you don't have to be a veteran to come here and appreciate what you see and what you read. Like General Hugh Shelton's quote behind us, and Hugh has often said, you know, when the world dials 911, the phone is answered in Fedville, North Carolina, and at Fort Bragg. So being a veteran, of course, any veteran that comes in here is going to reflect back on their time in the military, whether from whatever of the five branches of the military. You know, this, we're in the middle of uh, uh, the center of the universe for the United States Army. But the truth is, is that the Navy and the Air Force and the Coast Guard uh, and, and uh, others are are a part of this too. So this is a, a wonderful place regardless of whether you're a veteran or not. The Airborne and Special Operations Museum typically focuses on the history of the United States Army and especially its ties to Fort Bragg. The North Carolina Veterans Park is an all-service memorial dedicated to service personnel with North Carolina connections. Both locations offer visitors a wealth of history, art and architecture, and even relaxation in an urban setting. In Fayetteville, I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend.
The Airborne and Special Operations Museum is at 100 Bragg Boulevard in Fayetteville, and they're open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from noon to 5. You can reach them at 910-643-2766 or check them out online at asomf.org. The North Carolina Veterans Park is open year-round and admission is free. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.